At noon, remembering Janet Reno, the Miami native and the nation's first female attorney general, passed away overnight. The 78-year-old died from complications of Parkinson's disease. Reno died at her Kendall home. CBS 4's Maribel Rodriguez is there live with more on Reno's life and how she's being remembered. Maribel. Lauren Eddie Elliott, I spoke with the sister from inside the home just a short time ago. She says that this is the best place her sister could have been. And while many may remember her as a tough woman who fought for justice, they also want Janet Reno to be remembered as the loving person she was. We had uh, all been with her all weekend long. Um, uh, my uh, uh, nieces and nephews and children and grandchildren and friends. And uh, uh, I think we had a steady flow of people who loved her around her from Friday night on. Uh, and uh, then at 3.30, she finally left. Maggie Reno opening up about the last moments she and her family shared with the woman they loved, I'm Janet, Janet Reno, Reno, who made history by becoming the first woman U.S. Attorney General. But among her greatest accomplishments, her family would like everyone to remember her as a person who fought for justice, children, and loved family. One of the things I like to tell people is a lot of people know about her legacy about justice, about her sense of responsibility about her kindness. Uh, some of them don't realize what a joyful life she had. Reno was one of Clinton's most recognizable figures. She faced criticism for the deadly raid at the compound in Waco, Texas. But perhaps here locally, she will mostly be remembered for her involvement in the Elian Gonzalez case when she drew fire for handling of the six-year-old Cuban boy who had been living with his family in Miami when she ordered federal agents to swarm the home in the early hours of the morning to remove Elian and send him back to Cuba with his father. Her candid manner also brought her many fans at six Six foot two, she had a no nonsense style that made her a popular target on Saturday Night Live. A great sense of humor rarely seen in the public eye, but to her family, she was just the Jenny they loved. She was tough when she needed to be, and you didn't want to try to bully her or bully anybody around who was smaller than you. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, she was the greatest softie in the world. And in 1978, Janet Reno was the state attorney for Miami data position now held by Catherine Fernandez Rondo, who tweeted this morning, words cannot express my feeling of loss for my dear friend and mentor, Janet Reno. Rest well, Janet. Her sister also telling us that just on Friday, she was sitting outside on the porch looking at the peacocks, which is something she loved to do. We're live in Kendall. Maribel Rodriguez, CBS 4 News.